Hey y'all, how are you? Today is February 13th. Don't judge me by her sitting in the front seat. Please save it. Anywho, I just want to pop in here real quick to encourage you. Um, and we went to the park. Yeah, we went to the park today. Um, but I was just thinking it. I'm like, just thinking about my life and how good God has been yeah, to me. And I got, got a poppy mouth. toy. How good God has been to me. She got a poppy toy. Yep. Yeah. Thinking about how good God has been to me, how he provides. Like, just thinking about how I went to Georgia over the weekend. And I wasn't going to go because I didn't have really the money to go. But knowing that I'm about to move there, I needed to start going this month. But, you know, I was thinking and I was like, God wants me to glow up. He wants me to glow up. Like, I'm God... You're, glow you're growing up or glowing up? Glowing. Glowing? Yeah, my baby says she's glowing up, y'all. And I'm just trying to teach her to do that um, as I pursue my glow up. But God wants me to glow up, and he wants you to glow up. As moms and as, our, as wives, no, stop. We are like the backbone. We are the help me. We are the ones to raise the children. We are like the foundation as well. So our glow up is crucial. And think about how you feel and where you are and where your mindset is at when you're not pursuing your glow. Like just take a second to think about that. Think about who you are when you're not pursuing your glow. Think about what you're thinking about. Think about what you're doing when you're not pursuing your glow. And your glow could be taking care of yourself, doing things that make you glow, um, pursuing purpose, just being happy, thinking joyful thoughts, just thanking God for the life that you do have. You might not have everything you want, but you know what? I was reading the scripture um, in Romans 28 talking about how God works everything together for our good. Everybody that is seeking God and the purpose and the life that he had, like the plan, period. If you're seeking the plan of God for your life, like he is going to work everything together for your good, even the bad. So even when you feel like life is not working for you and life is not going the way that you think it should go, you might not have everything you want, but you have everything you need which is how life is majority of the time. Like we always have everything that we always have everything that we need, but what we dwell on is what we want. Like the things that we want and we feel like we need, we dwell on that and that's what makes us lose our glow. So just think about how God really wants you to glow up. And when you start to pursue that glow, and you start embracing motherhood, you start embracing being a wife, you start embracing yourself and who you really are, you will feel, oh my gosh, y'all, you will feel the difference. You will feel the glow. You will feel like there's just a light shining around you. I feel that all the time, y'all. So I just wanted to pop in and encourage y'all. I'm saying pop in like I'm on Instagram, my stories. But I just want to encourage you to pursue your glow, not just for yourself, but for the people that are connected to you, which would be your children and your husband, you know, your family members, people that are watching you. You are connect. There's people that are connected to you and waiting for you to glow up, like seriously. So do that, do that, do that, whatever that is. And I'm just thinking about how, you know, we're getting ready to move to Georgia. And we, we like did not know how this was going to happen. We already moved to Georgia. We haven't moved yet. <laughs> we didn't know how this was going to happen, but by the grace of God. And you know what? I was I like, at first I wasn't embracing this Georgia move. But then God was like, girl, this is what I got planned for you and your family. So you better straighten up and embrace this glow. And that's what I'm doing. God will provide. Like when we see, when we don't see God. things happening, like this is where your faith comes in and your faith is a part of your glowing up because you have to have faith like, in the unseen like I cry. no we're not talking about i cry <laughs> what are you talking about i'm talking about when y'all when i pee in my clothes y'all always whoop me oh lord we <laughs> do not always whoop her when she pee in her clothes but when you have faith you know you set goals and you have a vision and it's unseen meaning it has not happened yet that means you have faith in it. you have faith that these things are going to come to pass and you know that's a part of glowing up 
that's a part of shifting that's a part of you know just change happening in your life and when you learn to embrace that and go with the flow meaning go with the flow of god doing things in your life like y'all you just don't know but let me get off this phone i just wanted to you know say some things and talk to y'all and say what's up and let y'all know i'm glowing up and god wants me to glow and you know he just told me to come in and talk to y'all and let y'all know how he wants me to glow up he wants you to glow up too and embrace that embrace it no matter where you are right now in your life so